Hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab, and I promised a guy in the forums on Facebook here that uh, I would help fix the issue of the Denon players not showing the BPM correctly through Engine Connect. So I've been struggling with this for a long time and all kinds of mixer issues, and I realized something. So you gotta keep in mind, this thing here is spitting out an IP address to both the players over the network. So first thing you need to do, you need to power on your system first. Just the mixer alone, not the players, because usually I was like click, 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 clicking everything at the same time. And this was running into this crazy endless loop. And I could never figure out what the hell was going on. So this has to come on first. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure this is my player here that's got the internal hard drive in it. So this is my, my one that's got the main source. So I'm gonna get this one up and running first. That's the first thing I need to do. Also to, um, I don't know, I gotta check. I'm not sure if I have my ethernet cords plugged in the correct places in the back because you can go into the menu here and set this thing for auto or just for manual, which means you just gotta change it all the time, right? So I'm gonna pick my internal drive, load up my profile. Now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn on this one here and let it do a load up. And right now, already I can see because I don't have my cables plugged into the corresponding spots, just because the color of my ring here, I can already see through engine connect that it's on the wrong side. You know what I mean? It's trying to, it's gonna probably looking to do one and two because that's probably where I'm plugged into the back. But that's okay, it's not a big deal, we'll change that. And we've got to wait for that. Load up that profile. Yep. So now you see, obviously my cables right now must be plugged into one and two because my yellow's there, my green is there. Press and hold the connect button. And here's an issue. I can pick here, but I can't pick here. Now, I don't know, like I said, I'm just trying this out right now to see what's going on. And if I do this, do this, press and hold it again, see what's gonna happen here. Same issue. Now, if you run into this issue where you don't see your player, and this is something I don't get, like I said, I don't know how to fix it permanently because every time I run this system, I seem to have some other problem, you know what I mean? Um, but if you go into your utility, let's get back out of these things here. Uh, go in the system, go to your network settings, refresh that IP address. I don't know if you can get in there and see what I'm doing there. Probably not, but yeah. Refresh the IP, say yes. Back out there for a second. Wait a moment. Let's try this. Press and hold that engine connect button again. Might take a second for these IPs to be getting assigned. And there we go. Now we can select that one and I can select that one. And now we're all in business. So now that one there is yellow, that one there is green, engine connect is on and everything is great. Let me just uh, load up something quickly just to show that, yep, it is up and running. And when I flick my knob over, I'm at 88.1. I'm at 88.1 there. And if I move my fader, everything's good. If I load up something here, it says it's 155. When I flick it over, it's 155. We're good. But like I said, it seems like every time I turn the system on, I have to go through a bunch of nonsense. But at least I know how to actually fix it every time I do it. I'm gonna try and set this up normally and see what happens. And uh, so yeah, just to give you an idea, when you do go into the menus there, you can go into the engine connect under your system and you can tell it to be auto or manual. 
So now I just put it on manual. It was on auto. That's why it was set up like that initially. And as soon as I did that, it, it gave me once again, what I want to pick. I want to pick two. I want to pick three. We're good. Everything's, everything's fine. Hopefully this has helped you out. Hopefully it straightens out your situations out there. And uh, I don't know, hopefully they do some kind of update that fixes all of this because it's very complicated. No one's ever told me dead in tech support, which was of no use whatsoever. They barely even got back to me and tried to use COVID as the excuse because they don't have one at home, big deal. You know what, I worked at Apple, did technical support. I didn't have every thing I was talking about sitting in front of me, you know what I mean? I just knew what I was doing. And they never mentioned, hey, turn this on first. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully that helps. Talk to you all soon.